If you're looking for the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins on the market, be sure to check out AOEAH.com. Be sure to use discount code DSG at checkout for 3% off your order. Link will be in the description and the pinned comment down below. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is DSG or Command today with another Man 22 video. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I got about 1.5 million coins in about the last two or three weeks in Madden 22. In case you guys didn't know, we're here on the channel. All I do is post no money spent methods. So if you're looking for coins, train points, or XP, there are videos over my channel and there are videos all year long on those methods. So if that's what you're looking for, you are in the right place. As always, if you have any questions on what I'll talk about in today's video, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll answer your comment as soon as possible. So like I said today, I'm going to give you guys about the best five methods I've used to make about 1.5 million coins uh, in about the last month or so, three weeks to a month. So uh, there's going to be a lot of information in this video, a lot of information, some of the stuff you can't use right now, but you will be able to use in the future. And I'll explain what that means uh, pretty soon. So I want to start off with something right now that you guys can use. Now, this is a method that I talked about earlier this week. And I just want to go over it really quickly. So uh, I want to talk about this Keith Smith card. I've done this method uh, probably about five to ten times in about the last week. And it's been very good. And I've seen some people, uh, I'll say it works a lot for them too. I had some comments saying they made 100 k by doing this. Uh, and it does not take long to do it all. So you see this Keith Smith right here, this card right here. Um, usually he goes for about, or he's been going for about 30 to 40 k I don't know if my video had any effect on the price of his card. But he was going for about 30 to 40 k Now you could buy this card through a set, uh, the Team Builder set, for about, I forget what it was, like 12k, you buy the card for 12k, uh, you just buy 380 overall cards, so you buy 380 overall cards for about 5,000 coins, uh, four or 5,000 coins, and then you just sell this card, you can still make profit by doing this, if you know what I'm talking about, back out, and uh, go over to Team Builders, go over to Team Builders right now in the sets, and I'll show you guys what I mean, so you just simply buy 380 overall cards, you probably have some golds in your binder already, right, as it is, so after you buy those 380 overalls for four to 5,000 coins, so you just buy these three cards here, and then you probably have three golds in your binder. Put those golds in, you get you take Keith Smith, and you sell them for about 25k or more. It's super easy to do. Takes about three to four minutes to do, and uh, you're done. That's all you got to do. And it's, if you buy the cards, it's about 10k profit every time you do it or more. So really easy method. I highly recommend you guys do this. Now, another method that really got me a lot of coins was in the. Um, the most feared reroll set, and that was something I utilized a lot over this most feared promo. Now, the most feared stuff isn't available right now. I don't know why I'm in my, my team. I meant to go to the market, but uh, what was I going to say? The, the most feared stuff obviously isn't in the game now. There is like the the Thanksgiving promo, the harvest. This doesn't seem to be as good of a reroll. However, I, I haven't gotten to test out a whole lot. It doesn't seem to be that good. When Christmas time comes around, you'll be able to make a lot of coins off the Christmas rerolls because they're always really good. So. Christmas time, I will update you guys, alright, with that, that got me a lot of coins for most feared though, also, something I did, just going into the market here and there, and buying cards on a Saturday, if you just buy cards on a Saturday, and then you sell them, uh, later on in the week, like on a Tuesday or Wednesday, that's when cards are usually up in price, usually on a Wednesday, they're most expensive, so, that's something I did that made me a lot of coins, uh, let me see what else, I was doing like one of the, one of the most feared sets for a little bit, I don't know if it's still good anymore, uh, it probably isn't. It probably, I mean, it could be good sometimes here and there. But one thing you guys could also look look at a little bit here and there is in the superstar set in some of these players. Someone actually pointed this out to me a couple weeks ago. I want to say it was TG Muggle Moms. I could be wrong, but I believe that's who it was. Uh, just by doing like this Russell Wilson set here, you could actually make profit off doing that. I, do, I doubt it works anymore. We can maybe just see real quick if it does. I doubt it does. Um, you spend. Yeah, it probably won't work anymore, but it could. Uh, you just do this set, and then you sell Russell Wilson, because for some reason, these cards are going for way more than they should have been, all right? What a lot of people are doing right now to make coins is something I have not used, but a lot of people are making coins right now from Team of the Week sets. There's just some cards that, for some reason, go for way more than what the set actually costs to do. So it might cost 200 k to make the card, and you can sell the card for 300 k So that's something people are doing. I don't know which sets are good, but I do know people have uh, make it, made a lot of coins by doing that. So if you want to go look at the sets... Feel free to do that. Obviously, Weekend Link has been a huge part of my coin stack in the last you know, month or so. Has had a huge impact on the coins I've made, uh, as well as my Weekend League monthly rewards. Um, monthly rewards, I pulled some pretty decent cards. I think I made about 150, 200K. Um, also, my, like, my weekly Weekend League rewards. What I do is every Tuesday, I open up all my packs in a video, and I show you guys how many coins I get from my quicks on everything, and then I show you guys how to get extra coins from the players you pull from the packs. And I want to say in the last month, so in the last four, four uh, Weekend League videos, 
uh, I want to say I made about on average about 125,000 coins each time, which that adds up to be like what 500k. So I made 500k in the last month just off my weekend league rewards, which is not bad at all. All right, head to head seasons has also been a huge impact on what I do. I try to play one and two seasons per week, uh, because that gets me that gets me a decent amount of coins. Uh, like it's like 3,000 coins per game, I believe. If I go to rewards and divisions here, it is yeah about three. Let's see here per game. Yeah, about four thousand coins per game. Uh, so if you win seven games, seven times four, twenty-eight, and then you get good rewards for the Super Bowl and stuff. I've won about f six Super Bowls this year, I want to say, and you get like a forty k coin quick sell, some packs, stuff like that. So if you just try to try to play like two seasons a week and then you play weekend league stuff, uh, that's what I, that's just what I've been doing. It's been working for me, and something that I actually kind of enjoy doing because I test out plays, I test out new players, stuff like that. So that's something I've been doing. All right, something I enjoy doing as well. So that's gotten me a lot of coins. I'll be honest, it has gotten me a lot of coins. Also, some things I do here and there. I will show you guys this as well. In my binder, uh, I'll do this sometimes too where I buy cards off the market. I don't usually buy them off the market. But if I pull someone like, let me see, for example, uh, where, where's this guy? I've been saving him for a long time. Tyron Matthew, right? He usually gets really good cards because he's a hybrid safety. And a hybrid strong safety is like one of the best archetypes in the game because uh, they're really good at man, zone. Uh, all the above, right? Everything you want him to do, he can do. He is only 5'9", but this guy usually gets cards that go for a lot of coins because he's a hybrid safety, like I said, which means his power-up will probably go up in price. So I'm holding on to his power-up right now uh, because I feel like his power-up will go up in price, and that's just something I'm just going to hold on to because I feel like that's the best thing to do. So that's one thing you guys can do. If you look, if you think a player's going to get a card soon, go buy that player's power-up or core elite or you know any of the cards he has in the market, go buy them. Usually gold doesn't go up in price that much, so I wouldn't do a gold card. But stuff like that can help. Also, if you're opening packs, raiders tend to have a lot of value. So if you ever see like a raider in one of your packs, I really recommend you guys take the raider because raiders do usually go for a lot more than any other team. So because the raiders team team is so popular that everyone wants all the raiders. All the raiders they can get, they're going to they're gonna take. And they're going to buy them off the market, and they usually go right away. So I recommend you guys take the raiders. And that's really all I've done to make coins in the last week, week or two, or sorry, about last month. Uh, I want to post more. I want to post like a, a million coin video about every two weeks just to update you guys what I've been doing. I missed like the last video that I was supposed to do, so that ended up working out. But that's what I've been doing. Really, the most feared promo made me a lot of the coins that I earned today or in the last month. So hopefully this Thanksgiving promo gets me a lot as well. If it is getting me coins, make sure you check out my videos throughout the weeks. Um, and I will keep you guys posted. I'm going to open up my monthly rewards right now. Or my rewards, I think it's what, that's what it's called. So that's a little special if you stay tuned in the last part of the video. You're going to see me open some of these packs here. So what is it? It's just one all-pro fantasy pack. That's not bad. I mean, I'll take that. Can't really complain. One all-pro. Obviously, we're, we're hunting for limiteds right now, right? We are hunting for limiteds. There are three rounds here, which is what I like to see. So let's rip this right now. Uh, probably not going to anything in the first round, right? Yeah, Josh Jacobs. I, I will take that. I will take the Josh Jacobs. I, I don't mind that. This could be a 90. It's 82. Marquise Brown. Okay. Uh, nothing. Wow, Tyree Kill. That's a good pull. That's a pretty good pull. I might actually hold on to that card because if he gets a if he gets a card in the future here pretty soon, I will end up selling him. I will definitely end up selling him, holding on to him. So I could hold on to that card. That's not a bad idea. This could be a 90 overall. It's 81. That's not a 90. This could be a 90 overall. It's not. Uh, and this is gonna be bad. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Uh, I'm going to take Warren Sapp here just because he goes for the most. So uh, let's see how many coins we actually made from doing that really quickly because I'm kind of interested to see. What was our best pull? Tyreek probably. Yeah, I think Tyreek was our best pull. So let me just go to recent recent pulls here, recent players, and we will go from there. So Tyreek, how much is he going for right now? Probably like 20, 30K, right? Oh, about 40. Okay, that's not bad. So that's, we'll say 35K right there. Josh Jacobs, I'm actually going to hold on to his power-up. I actually think I already have his power-up. I'm not sure because I do want to add his 90 overall to my team. Just for some depth. Because I do kind of like how that card looks. Uh, so I'll sum for like, what? 30, 38, sure, we'll do that. So that'll get me up to 200k range now. Warren Sapp, pro well, what's Marquis Brown going? Didn't he just get a limited? I mean, that's 6,000 coins right there. I'll take that. I'll take a free 6k. Sell him. Exactly 6,000. And then we'll see how much Josh Jacobs is going for. I want to see... Just exactly how much, but he probably is only going for about a thousand, two thousand. Yeah, it's kind of what I figured. Warren Sapp, I'm just gonna click a I don't care much he's going for. So that is it for this video. I'm gonna do my shout out here down. In case you guys don't know, I shout out every single one of my comments. All you have to do to get shout out in my next video is comment on this one. So here are all the shout outs. 
from the last video. I just got to pull it up right now. Got to go find it real quick. Where is it at? Where is it at? Here it is. We have Morningstar 336, Hunt Awakens, George Washington, Mule Dolphin Thing, Fortnite Gameplays, The Athletic Nation, Moopin Fiji, The Champ, Yolk Face, and uh, The Athletic Channel. Thank you guys for coming out this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe for me, and peace out.